So let's do some simple arithmetic in, Masla in MATLAB. So um, the simplest way is obviously just if we adding two numbers, for example. So how do we do that in MATLAB? And that's very simple. So we just click to a command window and use it as a calculator. So we just write two plus three, for example, and getting the answer straight away. So now the question is, so how can we can we use variables in this context? So, so we, how do we introduce variables here? That's again very simple and is like in any other programming language you can write for example a equals 2 plus 3. So let's do that. a equals 2 plus 3. So if you type that in. So now um, we see that a has a value 5 and um, but there's something also really important here so we see that um, after we have executed this command we see that basically the output is printed out here again so let's go back to our to our notes here so if you write this like this then matlab prints the value of a after this command prints the value of a automatically. So now if you write a equals 2 plus 3 and then semicolon then the output is suppressed. So let's let's try that. Um, let's go here and um, write a equals 2 plus 3 and then now semicolon. So now we see that there's no output generated here. Yeah, so as we as we have expected here, so this semicolon here, this semicolon suppresses the output. So now imagine we would like to know the value of A. Um, what we can do is just, we just type A without a semicolon and we're getting the result for A printed on the screen. Yeah, so if we type just A, it prints the value prints the value of A. This is very useful for debugging purposes. So if you're writing a program, you can always check the value of a variable just by typing the name of the variable without a semicolon.